Good evening. Hello, everyone. Everyone, this is Dylan Mesa again. I'm out here. I'm about to go truck camping, possibly. You know, I'm not gonna put on the thumbnail that I went truck camping if I'd chicken out, but I'm going to a town that's probably about two hours away. I'm gonna go visit the town. I wanna go maybe hear some karaoke. We don't have karaoke in my town, so I'm hoping they still have karaoke in this town I'm going to. I'm stopping at the gas station real quick, getting some gas, and then I got my setup in the back. Uh, you probably can't see it right now. If I'm feeling too nervous or I'm just, you know, not too happy or jittery about staying, I'm um, I'll head back. The reason I want to spend the night in this town is not to, like, stay at that karaoke place all night. But I actually want to go film, like, a waterfall the next day. We don't have waterfalls where I live. So it'd be kind of cool to, like, film one or, you know, do something with it. You know, just see something you don't get to see here. M most trips I've been on lately have been to the beach or they've been to family things where it's great but you know you kind of want to see nature sometimes if you're cooped up in an office all day like me and most people nowadays yeah so the gps says it'll be like an hour and 37 minutes so hopefully that's all it takes i'm actually at the karaoke place so i'm gonna go in here for a couple hours i made it to alabama by the way two hours driving um, I had some friends listen to them on Discord. I didn't talk at all because I sound like a robot. But I'm going to go have a good time. That was fantastic. It was everything I wanted to be. Horrible singing. There was pool up in there. Dude, I had such a great time. Uh, Mr. Norms. Got to recommend it. I made two friends in there like a couple they were pretty cool but like alabama is not what i expected it to be like at least here because like i know how it is at mississippi like whenever we're out at nighttime at a club or we're out somewhere like at a pool hall it's not like this it's pretty tight here i guess i'm camping tonight because i don't think i'm gonna drive home tonight especially with what i want to do tomorrow so i gotta find somewhere to sleep i'm gonna try the sportsplex first and worst case, I have to do a Walmart. I don't want to do a Walmart, but I mean, I, if the Sportsplex has a sign that says "Don't sleep here," I mean, I can't, I can't break the law. I don't think. So the Sportsplex is behind me, but this is where I think they were talking about you could camp. If I had a camper shell, I might do it, but I'm not gonna just park my truck right there. So it went on purpose, but I have found the college. In 600 feet, turn right to stay on Circular Road. Yeah, I have no idea how I got to the college, but I'm here. Ooh, honestly, the pay doing that. <laughs> pay for parking, not even have to be worried about what I'm doing. I don't even know if I can actually stay at this Walmart I just got to. Because there's like signs saying there's like a city ordinance of no trespassing. I might just have to risk it. I mean, there's all these other cars over here. I'm just like, if there's all those other cars over there, there's no way. And besides, I'm probably not going to be able to sleep really well right now. My calf is a little uh, sore. I got a Gatorade. I'm drinking it. But I can't drink all of it because I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. So, we'll see how this night goes. I, I might help in the back. I might not. Good morning. Ugh. Yeah, I never got out of the front seat. Mainly just because I was so nervous that like I was gonna have to move. I didn't like that side being there saying, hey, this is private property, city ordinances. I don't know what it's about. But I know that like everybody who did park here overnight, I mean they all parked over here in this one area. Yeah, I'm fogged up. It is, what time is it? It's 6.47. So I got here at like one o'clock in the morning. So I slept almost seven hours. 
to include all the dub where I just kept waking up a little bit. But it was my first time sleeping at a Walmart on purpose. Look at that temperature. 48 degrees. And I can't find my hoodie to save my life. Mainly because I haven't gotten up. I'm still a little bit, uh, what you call it, sore. I'm not drinking enough water. You know, I gotta go to the bathroom. Yeah, I didn't get no B-roll any on this trip, but I left out really late. Oh, we some breakfast inside the gas station. There you are, buddy. My hoodie that I can't find. So my camera bag. Never ate my midnight snack. And I was dumb. I left y'all out last night. I don't even really want this breakfast, but I felt bad not buying anything. It's just like a Canadian bacon egg croissant. So if I don't like it, I'm probably I might still eat something else before I go on my hike. I shouldn't have got the chocolate milk though. That was a hundred percent a guilty pleasure. Oh, Alabama. This purity chocolate milk is like, oh, it's a Nashville product. Dylan, you got to get this again next time you can get it. Oh, that is amazing. At seven o'clock in the morning. That is amazing. This breakfast thing is actually pretty good too. The cheese is like melty. I ate at home. Well, I thought it was gonna be like a like a snack when I left town. Like before I left town, like I was just heading home to like get a few things before I left for the road. And I thought when I went to that karaoke bar last night that like they were gonna have like food, food, and I'd be able to eat there and. You know, I wasn't going to be, like, kind of hungry all night. So, like, last night I got these chips, but I was so, like, tired. I was ready to go to sleep. And now I wake up and I'm like, oh, I'm hungry. You gotta, uh. This is great. Even if I don't film my waterfall today, which is the main reason that kept me staying here overnight, I'm really happy I made this trip already. Just because I've been wanting to do an overlanding trip other than, you know, in my hometown. And it's been really nice just seeing somewhere else. I mean, Alabama's not as... It's rougher looking, but it's actually a lot... I want to say friendlier in a way. Like, people aren't as cordial as they are in Mississippi. But, I mean, the people here are pretty nice so far. Oof. Yeah, I don't know how good this food is right now. Oh, it's a I love them. I don't even know if there's really a waterfall here, so I was getting nervous because, like, every 10 seconds I was seeing a sign that said you can't drive past the dam, and I'm like, well, does that mean I get to not see anything today? But hopefully, I'm on the right track to get to the right place. Oh, my boots ain't wet on the inside. They're not. They're down. So the waterfall is this one, and I think that's the shade. So we shouldn't be that far. Ten minutes in, I think I've already gone the wrong way. It's pretty nice to see all this. So I did some walking around. That's the way I went over there. I think that gate right there that says everything's closed is the way to the waterfall. Whenever I was leaving, I found a friend that I made who said basically go down the creepy road that says TVA and uh, whenever you can't drive no more, you're going to have to get out and walk to the waterfall. And I'm like, that's fine, but I'm like worried this road's going to end up being a dirt road, no way out. Uh, thankfully, it's like 7, no, it's 8 in the morning. Alabama is pretty with all these hills and stuff like even with all the <laughs> Pollution it's still pretty because there's like all this other stuff here. Oh, there's cars. Yes, yeah, so there'll be a waterfall here somewhere Oh, so I think these are mounds. This ain't just hills. This is mounds And they build a park in here 
You know, white people, y'all got class. Waterfall walk. It's the orange line. We're here. Gotta go there. I love being able to see the stone and stuff because it's like something greater than you. You can just notice it. <laughs> falling rock. I wonder if that's what he meant. Watch out for the sign that says falling rock. If it wasn't for all this vegetation, this reminds me of Mexico a lot. At least on the way, like in Monterey and San Luis Posse. It's a lot like this. Oh my, can y'all see it? I want to put my camera down and show you how big it is, but I thought it happened the one time I was grilling and I dropped my camera. I don't stop YouTube forever. This boat's generally. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Dude, that is beautiful. Is the next one. I didn't know it was gonna be multiple ones. I was wondering why the pictures were so different. Now I get it. I probably stink right now. I probably need to take a bath in that. This is why I wore the water boots. Oh, there's another one. Dude. Let me see if I can get just a little bit closer. Oh, I'm actually really close to the other one I just filmed. Bruh. There's just something about something that was here. Man didn't put it here, but we get to appreciate it. All right, paratrooper. This is stupid. All right, this one looks dangerous. It's even got like a memorial by it. Ah, that is so gorgeous, man. No profile pic. I gotta be careful. Last time I was around a waterfall like this, I was inhaling really hard and I got sick. <laughs> Where's Dylan been? <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. I'm gonna put the camera down for like 20 minutes and just soak this in. Cause this ain't just about y'all, this is about me too. Gotta make it back to the truck. Made it back. Oh, it was awesome. Totally worth the trip. It's like nine o'clock right now. I have a buddy from work who said that there's like this really good place to eat in town. So if they open by ten, I'm gonna go. If they're not open by ten, 
I don't know if I'm gonna go or not. Maybe 11, I might stay two hours, but I gotta find something to do, I gotta use the bathroom. I just ate at the Taqueria Jalisco. Man, now I feel dumb, that's that lady where your family's from, Jalisco. Yeah, I just ate there, I might put some pictures up. Uh, food was delicious. I don't ever like taking my camera into little restaurants, especially uh, Hispanic ones, for cultural reasons. I didn't go to the place that my coworker told me to go eat, but no le pasa nada, everything was good. Uh, I just wanted to eat a little bit earlier, and I already ate. It's time to head back home. Subscribe, all that. Uh, everyone who watched the video, uh, I hope you know that this has probably been my favorite trip that I've been on in a long time.